Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Dith Martians Have Landed playthrough with me, your host, Lucky Marine in EU4. We are in the final stages of a war against Lubeck, uh, a war that we declared in order to drag a couple of the free cities in that were in our vicinity, cities that we would dearly like to take, but without declaring war on them directly. So. We dragged in Denmark on the promise of land, which we aren't going to give him. Actually, we might give him Riga. Should we give him Riga? That'll put... That'll put cat and pigeons. That would put the cat and the pigeons. If we give him Riga, that would satisfy our promise of land. But it's so far out of the way that it wouldn't affect us here. And we can still take what we want. That's going to be the plan, I think. We have a mission to placate France, therefore we should be improving relations. Uh, the mission is for 5 prestige and 25 diplo power. If you can take missions for monarch points, then they are they're very good. Uh, second only to gain automatic calls on places. We can call in our allies because Lundberg has finally extracted himself from the war that he found himself in with Poland and Teutonic Order. He's mixed with Teuton, uh, with uh, Poland, I believe. No, no, no. So, I don't know who's he got a, an alliance, a uh, truce with. Saxe-Lauenburg, Oldenburg and Verden, they were the ones that we fought with him. But he's got a recent against Brunswick. So, he must have had, have had a one-on-one -on -one fight with Brunswick. Yeah. Arnholt and Lundberg. So it's Lundberg and Arnholt versus Brunswick. Interesting. Anyway, Lundberg stayed. That They didn't get overrun. That uh, They didn't get taken out. What are they building? They're building a castle. Damn you. Okay. Anyway, we've uh, taken back our land that we had sacrificed. We concentrated our forces up here, uh, along with the Danish bacon and the, the Swedish women and the Norwegian. Norwegian isn't known for much, actually. Um, caribou. There's a lot of caribou in uh, Norway. Uh, so yeah, the Norwegian caribou up here. And um, we took out the places that we needed to take. We let the the enemy run rampant. There were no forts down here, so there was no decent war score they could accrue. Uh, we even had peasants. We even took the decision to have peasants rise up in Honorsbrook just to provide a distraction for them. And the enemy did come down and, and took out our peasants, which I thought was hilarious. So, so now we have pushed them and pushed them and pushed them all the way back to Utrecht. And we have pulled off that siege and we're allowing Denmark to tank the attrition. We've not taken much attrition. We've not had to use much of our manpower pool. We've, we've used it well in this war. And we've got Rigor over here who is getting siege by. First Norway, but they got spanked, and then Sweden went in there and showed the Norwegians how to do it. Wow, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get comments about that. Okay, we, uh, yeah, we can call Lundberg into into the war, but we won't because we want to save him for the wars to come. Namely, the waiting of nine years until we can declare war on our rivals again, for all the power projection. Uh, in the war before this, we went to war with all our rivals, all at the same time, because they're all friends with each other, and we pieced each one out for over 150 ducats each and 30 power projection. It was absolutely beautiful. What have I got here? Plutocratic coup. Burger's influence is lower than 80. Something must have ticked off, so the burger's influence has risen. Yeah, that's we can wait for this because this number is quite good. 
even though we haven't got boats out. It's still good. And if it gets too high, too quick, we will revoke um, one of the, the bits of land. Actually, would giving the clergy this have an, Im have an impact on the burghers? Because they would have less influence relative because the clergy would no it doesn't work like that oh well. how about we, uh, do we give these as well yeah yeah it's above 25 might as well give it out to the clergy might as well get some sort of bonus from having the estates in charge there I think it's a tax bonus from the clergy now I shall tax modifier plus 20 percent stability cost modifier we could have probably used that a lot sooner and the yearly papal influence is going to help. We have admin points to spend. Now, first things, we don't want to be spending admin points on development. Because at the moment, we can still rival these three guys here. I want to still be able to rival these three guys in nine years when we can have another fight with them for money and power projection to mask the fact that we're going to take at least one of the three cities. We link this war into the war against these three. Because we're at war, the Emperor can't ask for the land <clears throat> that we're going to take, probably Hamburg, because of this sweet, sweet estuary and centre of trade. So if we get too big, we'll get pop up saying for then is no longer a valid rival. So we are we are walking on a side rope that we can't see. Um, we don't know at what point they'd stop being a valid rival, but we don't want to be wasting these points, so we have to spend them on something. The only thing, really, the only thing, really, 165 points. We do need the stability. It will help. I don't like doing it. I hate spending. I have a phobia of spending admin points. Especially on something as trivial as stability. I'd be perfectly happy. I would have been perfectly happy at minus two. But we hit our cap and we had to spend them on something. And so we chose stability. And we're going to choose stability again. That's painful. Oh well. Oh well. Onwards, onwards we go. The institutions haven't spread to us yet, so we can't. We'll go up to speed four. Uh, maybe let's let's rock speed five. Let's get let's get let's get going, shall we? Lost, losing claims on provinces. That's not good. That's not good. We need to lock somebody on that right now. War exhaustion going up. It's level. That's not too bad. And how's this? They're lower than 80. Are they just are they suddenly dipped just below? Okay, this is good. So that down to 75. That's fine. We're getting good bonuses from both of them. That yearly papal influence as well. That's useful. Every year we gain two. Every year we gain two. Poland would take an alliance, or they would have. They do. They still will once we get out of this war. Um, we have quite a few things to do straight out of this war and into the next. In the space of a day, we've got to take, got to get an alliance from Poland, and then declare this war before. Austria comes back, lost a claim on a province. Shouldn't be too bad because as long as I've got the claim on Verden, they're the ones that we have to declare on. They're the ones that don't have outside help. They just have the other two of my rivals. Whereas these guys, they bring in Pomerania and this guy would bring in 
Brandenburg, and we don't want that. There's no point in having you locked on Poland, actually. Not now. We've There's far too much there. Go over here and try and satisfy our mission, which is to placate France. He's dead. He's dead. If I leave this, if I leave this, will he live a little bit longer? Who do we want to take anyway? Probably a Diplo candidate. What idea group are we doing? No, we want an admin candidate. <gasps> I could have been just dumping points into admin ideas. What an absolute long. I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten that we... this light bulb has been up here all the time. And then I hyper focused on the red number that I could see, which was the stability. And then I argued with myself about, oh yeah, stability, yeah. I can spend admin points on this. It's okay. We generate so much. What an absolute turbo spastic. Right. <clears throat> Free thinker minus five. Wait, what? The unfortunate passing of Nicholas Carl. Free thinker minus five. If we took this right now, we would still benefit from the essence of Carl and his free thinking ideas. So let's get these whilst they're at a discount. Why not? Three ideas. We've just saved how, how many points? 60 points. We've saved 60 admin points from a dead leader and the good stuff that he brought bless him even in death even in death Carl is striving to help the country absolutely love that man loved loved that man he's dead now we're gonna call Vismar we're gonna call Vismar Carl is it proper Carl Syndic, Syndic Nikolaus Karl. So which one do we call it? Which one? No, we'd be calling him a Karl. Let's let's just call this. Let's just call this more Karl. In memorandum of what will probably be our greatest leader. Beautiful. Get out of the way, horse. Look at that. Look at that. Even from out here. Carl. We will see this. And we'll always remember. The great efforts. That this leader. Managed. What he achieved in his life. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. He, midlife crisis. But he pulled it out of the bag again. At the end. With another good stat. Good. Bad. Good. But 666 across the board these points if we're if you leave these type of multi-choice events up and they they auto go off after about three months it'll take the very top choice which is what we want so does that mean if we just leave that off to a flank does that mean for the next few months we can still get the 666 should we try it out? Let's, let's bring it down by one. Have I fully? Yeah, I've got all this now. Okay. Let's go on. I think I think that was a yes. Another month. Local autonomy. Yeah, local autonomy. Not losing the admin. Even in death, Carl is like, take the points, take the point, take all the points and run with them quickly. Yes. Brings a tear to my eye. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Carl. Uh, 
Another one? An honourable people. Few indeed. An honourable Karl more like. Few people in the world. Few people in the world. Few indeed. Discovered an agent. That's alright. They're probably trying to spy on our dead ruler. Yeah. We took the top option. Which is what we wanted anyway. Uh, we wanted the... Look at this. Peasant levels of, uh, of points. I'm sad. I'm very sad. But let's... Uh, let's now try piecing out a few of these. Riga, come on. Come on down. I'd like to think they're all lined up outside the chambers. Right, yep, yeah, send Utrecht in. We'll uh, we'll peace out with him for what we want. Actually, no, we'll just wait until uh, we've got this this fabrication. Wait till fabrication, bring the diplomat back, and then peace out with people. And lead a shock. He started well. He has started well. I will give him that. And he's 36. I reckon if he lives to 60. No, we just won't have the Republican tradition. That's unfortunate. This is a, a decent first stat. First thing. Buff. I, what, what are these called? Personality traits. There we go. Got there in the end. Okay. Let's fabricate a claim on you. Let's bring you back from there because they only have one province. There's no point in fabricating claims on them anymore. Uh, we'll actually Riga first. How about we sue for peace? No. We need to do this first. Give Riga to Denmark. Okay, transferred. Yeah, transferred this to Denmark. Now Riga, sue for peace. Because Denmark doesn't want it. Are you shitting me? When did this become a thing? Doesn't want it. You don't want free land. Well, it's either this or nothing, Denmark. Gift horse in the mouth and all that. Nope. Well, if you don't want it. If you don't want it, what can we take? We'll take war reparations. We'll take all his lovely ducats. Not bad, actually. We'll have... Things that now bring us in prestige. These will bring in one prestige at zero diplo cost. These will be zero diplo cost. Transfer trade power? Yep, can do that. Boss military access, don't need it. Stop all treaties with the Livonian order. This will stop them from getting out again. We'll lock you in there. Alright. Plus five prestige. Hundred and five coins which will which should go somewhere to alleviating some of this. Done. You were let out easy, Riga. You nearly didn't exist. Denmark weren't such of a dick. You wouldn't exist. Thank Denmark in a very weird, weird way. You tricked. Come on down. Step in my office. Sue for peace. Okay. You're here. You're not in the same node as me. You're in the Empire. How about war operations and all your money that's yeah that's more than enough that's going to be more than enough to uh, to pay off what we need how about end your rivalry with alright not this because if they end the rivalry they might end up with mates we don't want that end your rivalry with that which brings in 10 prestige. And annul treaties with Gallery, of course, because if we're going to fight here at some point, we don't want Gallery to have Utrecht as a friend. That's going to help out massively in future. If we get there quick enough and if it, if it becomes apparent. Lubeck? Yeah, because Lubeck isn't going to 
exist anyway, so we will do that. It gives us one extra prestige. So 14 prestige and 246 ducats. We will send that demand. Go. We didn't get, we only got a little bit because Denmark sieged it. So Denmark will, yeah, Denmark will probably get the lion's share of that. Oh well. Yeah, and the fight that we were on in on our own with the with our rivals, we got the line share because we did the line share of the the siege and the fighting. But I suppose there has to be a downside to allowing your allies to take the the brunt of the punishment in a war. Now, well. right. Hamburg, Bremen, Lübeck. There are special things I need from all of you. What's the aggressive expansion? If we can take two, if we can take two, then we will. If we can take just the one, then it'll be Hamburg. We uh, we let this go. We let it. I need a Friesland. Okay. We'll get that back on Friesland. We let this sit and stew for a while. Um, there's no rush, not until Call for Peace comes around. And even when Call for Peace comes around, I might eat it for a number of years until we can declare the war on uh, Verden. Still only has Saxlandberg, still only has Lernberg. They are still our only three rivals. We'll get the claim back for Gallery, who now doesn't have Utrecht backing them up. So it's just them and Cologne. Okay, anyway, that's my alarm. I have been Lucky Marine. You, as always, have been amazing. Come back in the next episode when I will reveal to you what my brain just told me. Take care.